So do you want to add a little bit of extra security and know who's coming up to your camera and who's checking out your house? Well, MyQ has just the thing for you. And I'm going to show you the new feature that they have implemented. So stick around and let's get to it. So MyQ has recently uh, come out with face detection in their MyQ app. And what this allows you to do is you can scan a face and it stores that in the app. So then when someone comes up to your camera, it will send you an alert as to, oh, it recognized so-and-so at your camera. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up in the app real quick. And you can see how it works. It actually is, works really, really well. And I, I like it. You can put family members in it and you can put um, friends and uh, whoever you want. They do give you a limited number of scans, but I mean, how many people are you really gonna scan anyways? Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how it works and how you set it up. Um, so let's get into the app and I'm going to kind of go through the settings and you can see how the feature works. So the first thing you want to do is get the app open, of course. And then once the app's open, you're going to go up to the top left under your account. And then you're going to go under face detection and it's going to kind of go over a few settings and things, let you know how it works and some details on getting started. Um, and then you'll just kind of go through that. And then in the next screen, it'll give you a device selection screen where if you have multiple cameras, you can choose which cameras are all your cameras that you want to use. And as you can see, I'm going to choose both of my cameras, um, even though the ones in the garage, if someone comes in from the house and the garage doors closed, it will still be able to do the facial detection. So I'm going to leave it on both right there. Click save and go to the next screen. And on the next screen is kind of a, you know, they're just covering themselves and they give you kind of a consent. Uh, you have to scroll to the bottom of the consent. And then once you get to the bottom, you can uh, click accept. And once you do that, it'll move to the next screen. So on the next screen, it kind of tells you what you have to do to get it to recognize your face and do the recording. It, it just didn't seem like you recognized it uh, as quickly as it should have. So I had to move real slow around to get it to capture my face. But um, so you'll kind of scroll down, read the information that it has. And it tells you all about what you can do, what you can't do, face coverings, things like that. Um, once you get all the way down to the bottom, just click continue. And once you click continue, um, it'll go to the screen where it'll now get ready to scan your face. And so as you can see, it's got like this little ball that goes around and you have to move your head around the circle and then it won't capture your face until it turns green. And so as you can see, I had to go really slow and it was kind of awkward uh, because I couldn't get it to register my face accurately um, without going around several times. But Ultimately, um, I was able to go kind of slow. And once the whole ring of the picture is filled out in green, that basically tells you that it's captured every part of your face like it needs to. You can't actually proceed until this is done. And then you'll move on to the next screen. So once it saves your scan, um, then you can actually move on and you can scan other faces and it gives you the opportunity to, to set others up. If you want to, you can just exit, um, and move on. Now, again, it does have a limited number of scans that you're allowed to do. So as you can see, if you go back into the app after you're done scanning, you go back into settings, you now see where like, for example, myself is scanned and it shows the date that it was scanned and you can redo your scan if you want to. And it also gives you the ability of scanning others that are actually part of your home group. And then it gives you 15 scans that you can do for people who are not actually in your MyQ home group, uh, which is actually a lot. Um, I don't know that I'd have 15 people I'd want to scan. Of course, you'd have to get their consent to do it as well. So you know, they might not want you to scan their face. Um, but it can be helpful if you have people that come over on a regular basis.
And then of course you can also uh, completely reset it to where you can erase all of the scans because they're saved locally. It's not saved in the cloud. And then you can erase all of the scans and you can rescan if you want to. And one thing I really like that if you're going to scan uh, your children, you do have to have this consent. Now, of course, I didn't go through that. I don't have any small children that I was going to scan, but um, it's kind of a nice feature that it kind of gives you that little extra layer that you can't just scan some random child's face. But if you have a lot of, you know, if you have small children, or I should say um, maybe middle-aged children and teenagers, you know, eight, nine, 10, and you wanted to be able to have them access your home and know who it was, I suppose you could, you know, scan them. I really like the feature. Like, for example, I would scan, you know, my son when he comes to visit because uh, he doesn't live here all the time, but it'd be nice to know if he was here, we could open garage. Um, I don't know. To me, it just adds that extra layer of security. So you know that if you're getting these alerts, then you won't have to guess of like who's there or what's going on. And um, it actually tells you, as you see by when I went to the camera to do a little test, it recognized me and then it pops an alert up that says hey robert was at your camera um so it will tell you in the alert of who actually came and who it actually detected so i find that pretty helpful but my q has done a great job with their app and their products and i've loved these my q products that i've gotten especially that video keypad it's been fantastic uh, i'm still getting about i don't know eight or nine weeks of battery life uh, before i have to swap the battery so to me that's more than adequate and it's just performed flawlessly i haven't had any issues at all so i would highly recommend it now of course i'm going to have links to everything in the description so you can go check it out for yourself and if you have any questions or comments you know please hit me up in the comments section and i'll be happy to answer any questions yeah i think this is a great new feature and it's definitely something you want to take a look at if you have one if you don't have a keypad or one of the garage cameras um, i definitely encourage you to go check it out and get you one because they are, work great so again i really appreciate you guys tuning in supporting me uh, it really means a lot i like all the comments i'm getting and the suggestions and different things so you definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button and you'll definitely want to go check out this video here which kind of goes over in detail how to install that video um, keypad that's on the outside of the garage.